Okay, so today we're talking about the launch of this book, Choosing a Self-Publishing Service. Now, who, who is already self-publishing? Okay, have you already chosen a self-publishing service? <laughs> okay, who is yet to choose one? Okay, a few people, that's fantastic. I mean, one of the brilliant things about the Alliance of Independent Authors is that we all share our pros and cons and things to you know look out for and, and danger. So this is what this book's all about. But well, I'm gonna hand over to Orna Ross, uh, our founder and also author. So uh, here you go. Thanks, thanks Joe. Okay, this is good because I lost my voice. So I found it again. You're all really, really welcome here this evening. Isn't it great to have an author lounge full of authors? Absolutely thrilling. Um, I'm sick of telling this story, but my first time here at London Book Fair was as a literary agent. I was also a writer at the time, and I was shocked, actually, at the absence of writers at this fair. <clears throat> and so much has changed in seven years, so it's really fantastic. Um, yeah. We'll tell you all about the book and you can come and talk to us afterwards. Um, it was put together by our watchdog team at the Alliance. That's Ben Galley over here, Nick Rooney, and myself, and with input from Victoria Strauss, who's in the US, who can't be here this evening. And essentially, when we founded the Alliance, it became clear very quickly that we needed to address the issue of the number of people who were essentially seeing writers as a a source of income, shall we say. And that's, there's nothing wrong with that per se, uh, except for my little people that have absolutely no interest in writing, no interest in publishing, no interest in readers, and essentially just want to, to make some money. <clears throat> it's quite shocking, actually, what goes on in the world of self-publishing services, but it's also heartening to see how many great companies are coming on board. <clears throat> Excuse me, this is terrible. We have um, a system whereby we, we rate um, services and we invite people to join us as partner members. And the partner members that come on board are actually assessed by our watchdog team and by the members of the Alliance. And we're very glad to be making those sorts of links. Some of them are huge companies like Amazon KDP or Kobo. Some of them are tiny one person or family operations. And it's great to see those partnerships coming together when they work, it's, it's something that makes us feel really good. So, um, yeah, I, I really just wanted to say that what we try to do is do a representative sample. 20 providers have been analysed in great depth by these two guys here um, and compared in a way which allows us to look at people who do very different things and say whether they do it well. Or whether they do not. So some of the people in the book are actually there as examples of how not to do it, of people not to to um, to go with, if you like. But the aim is that by looking at these providers, you will be able to ask the right questions. You will be able to analyse good things to look for, the bad signs to watch out for, and choose self-publishing path that's right for you. Because people keep saying to me, "How should I self-publish?" I'm really there are so many answers. Really, there's only one answer. It depends. And um, it's really about learning to ask the right questions more than anything else. And I hope that the guide does that. So I'm going to hand you briefly over maybe to Ben and Nick. Um, we were hoping to read a short bit from the guide, apparently. Nope. Um, so I'll just get Ben maybe to say a word. And CJ, do you want to talk a bit about your pathway to publication? Okay, and thanks for being here. Hello, welcome to the revolution. <laughs> I wish I had a guide like this when I got started. My name is CJ Lyons. Um, I've sold 1.3 million books on my own. And I'm a New York Times bestselling author of what I term thrillers of heart. Uh, I actually recently just hit the Irish bestseller list. <laughs> and I was just told by my German publisher I, I've hit the top of the German bestseller list. And that's all because I took control of my own destiny and I decided, in addition to working with traditional publishers, I wanted to get my books out into the hands of readers faster. That's what kept my readers happy. That's what makes them dance and shout for joy and tell their friends to read my books. And so I began self-publishing. And it's been a, uh, I began in the end of 2009. 
so I, I guess I was one of the early pioneers. I know I look like an old pioneer woman. Uh, and it's really been a delightful journey, but it's been trial and error. Because as Orna said, there's no one right way. There's no rules. It's just what's right for you and your readers. And that's the key. Keep your readers in mind. But this really is a renaissance for both writers and readers and publishing industry experts of all kinds. And so having a place where you can go and have them already vet it and understand the pros and cons of their offerings and know what you're getting yourself into so that you can actually form true strategic partnerships. That's the key world for publishing 2013. Strategic partnerships. Why do you want strategic partnerships? Because that will allow you to build your own global publishing empire. And that's what you guys can all do. You're all CEO of your own global publishing empire. So I want you guys to just imagine that. And I want you to give a shout out. Are you CEO of your own global publishing empire? Are you going to take control? Yes. So get this guide so it will help you along the way and help you to form those strategic partnerships that you're going to need so that you know what will go into it. And then I think Ben was one of the editors and he's going to speak. Hi, everyone. How are you doing? Um, I just want to talk about it um, you know, from one of the creators of the guide and uh, one of the people who put this together. I want to talk about the challenges and also the reasons why we did this. Um, I published in 2010 and I published my first book which is a fantasy novel and uh, it took me ages to publish and the reason because um, I basically went out into the industry knowing that I wanted to publish but not knowing how. I didn't have the foggiest idea why or what I was going to do. Um, and so I basically started researching as everyone does, types self-publishing into Google and get reams and reams and pages and pages of self-publishing providers and you have no idea what they do, if they're good enough, uh, if they're going to rip you off, which is obviously one of the biggest things about the industry, the fact it's not regulated, you don't know, you know if you're paying far too much, you know, you could be up paying up to tens of thousands of pounds as the guide will show you. Um, and I just got confused. Um, and through my own kind of personal endeavours, I managed to find my own way through. And luckily came out the other side pretty much unscathed, which was nice. Um, but also working with the alliances, it became apparent that a lot of authors don't. And a lot of authors get burnt, basically. Um, they either get ripped off, they get sucked into, into contracts that they can't get out of, that are detrimental to their careers, um, that basically, you know, force them into a corner where they can't recoup, you know, the, um, the, the providers will set the price and the royalty will be so small and they've already shelled out so much money that basically they have no hope of recouping unless they sell, you know, thousands and thousands of books. And so we wanted to do, what we wanted to do is basically have this guide so basically people can look at a provider and go, do I want them? Are they good for me? Because every author is different as well. One provider that suits me might not suit one of you. So what we wanted to do is kind of put some sort of regulation in, pra in place that will show an author exactly what this person does, just bear the bare bones of this of the provider, show them this is what they cost, this is what you need to look out for, this is good because of this and that is bad because of that. And so that's what I wanted to show. And it was a challenging uh, endeavour, mainly because uh, there are a lot of providers out there. Um, but hopefully the guide's done it. I'm, I'm very confident it has. And um, I encourage you to read it all and hopefully you can glean some, something from it and um, not get burnt in your self-publishing endeavours. So I'm going to pass it on now to me. Hey Dan, thanks uh, Ben. I'm the, uh, the editor of the independent publishing magazine. A number of you might have been following me over the last few years and I've been doing quite extensive reviews of uh, self-publishing providers. Uh, so it was a delight to be involved uh, with Ben and uh, honoured to actually be asked to, to get involved with this book. I'm gonna keep it, the message really short. I think the most important thing, and Ben has touched on it as well, and it's, if you're looking at the area of self-publishing, there, there's never a more exciting time to get involved in self-publishing. But the crucial thing is, before you get involved, do your homework, do your research, ask your providers the right questions, um, and you've less chance of going wrong. Um, and it, it's, it's a simple message. And uh, I, I'm sure this book is gonna grow year after year uh, from strength to strength. Uh, there's gonna be more providers included. Uh, and it's it's an it's an exceptional boy, so support us, okay? Thank you all for being here. Thanks. <clears throat> Mick just raised an important point that I wanted to say. One of the things about this guide is it is the first ever guide to the global self-publishing uh, scene. We call it that. Um, but it is also the first ever updatable guide. So we will be updating every 20 weeks or so because things are changing really, really rapidly in this industry. 
and self-publishing allows for that. We can actually change the book, change the date on the cover, and keep the book rolling as a, an organic, evolving entity. And I'm really, really excited about that because I don't think you'd actually take this on board as a book if you couldn't do that. And it's one of the things that self-publishing allows for that you might have to think of for your own projects. So we're going to move inside next door in a little while and um, we're going to give you the opportunity to buy the book online at Amazon or on our website and if you would like a souvenir of the evening, um, the five people here will be signing postcards for you to take away. So I'll just hand you back to Joe because my voice is almost gone. Thank you. So um, I hope you've all been interested in the different levels of excitement between Mick and CJ. You got that? But, you know, that's just a cultural difference. They actually are both really excited. <laughs> we, we represent a whole range of authors at the Alliance. <laughs> um, no, that's really exciting. So, yeah, the point is this is for sale right now on Amazon. And uh, you can go and buy it right now from your iPhone or whatever. Oh, it's already number three in annuals and books. Well, hey, doing well. So yeah, if you would buy it today, please, then it will just go straight up the charts. Um, also, you can ask any of us questions, either about our self-publishing experience or you know any questions you have. We are all you know authors committed to authentic kind of sharing, so you're welcome to ask anything to any of us. And uh, any other Alliance people want to put their hands up? Yeah, see you around. Look, a load of us. So please, um, please ask any questions. So we'd like to thank our sponsors for uh, this area, which is Author Right PR. Thank you for having us. Um, and also to Amazon for uh, paying for drinks <laughs> uh, tonight. So those of you with the Alliance coming to the pub at seven, um, uh, or if you get some signed postcards, you'll find the invite. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for coming. And uh, yeah, any questions, just let us know. And uh, this is right for sale right now. So off you go. Thank you. Oh yeah. Sorry, the title is <laughs> Choosing a Self-Publishing Service 2013. Is it for print books as well as yes, it is for print books as well as digital. We include print-on-demand services. Launching in... Oh, there is also a print book of this launching in six weeks' time. But the services are for print as well as e-book. Absolutely. Yeah. Any other questions? Yes, it does include offset printers. Any other questions? Sorry, we should have answered. Any other questions? No? The name is Choosing a Self-Publishing Service 2013. It is a descriptive title <laughs> that does what it says on the box. <laughs> oh, we have a big poster. But yeah, basically, um, it, what I like about it, you know, from a personal perspective, is it includes a lot of the psychological aspects of being a, uh, an indie author, as well as just, you know, use this service. Um, it's kind of, you know, evaluate. It will also help you evaluate over time. For example, you guys know that Nook Press got released, Barnes & Noble Nook Press, heard about that? Like last week, I was like, yay, finally, Nook, do something, you know, that we can do in England. But no, surprisingly, it's not open to the UK again. So th this, this book will help you evaluate services as they come out, because let's face it, it the industry changes every week. So um, any further questions? Yeah. Other platforms that authors... Yeah, the, the place to go is uh, Writer Beware. I mean, all oh right, it's all in here. Um, <laughs> but um, Victoria, Victoria Strauss, who's the Writer Beware website and creditors and editors, which rate services, she's, she did the forward and she's an advisor to, uh, to the service. So that's the thing, it's not just one author's opinion, it's a lot of different authors' opinions um, or, and experiences. It's, we rate them on the website as well. And the website is allianceindependentauthors.org. And uh, I think from my perspective, we launched this, uh, well, Ornat launched it last year, this time last year at the book fair, and things have changed so much in a year. So our aim, you know, together is to, all of us together, is to try and keep authors empowered with information and, and sharing it together. So, any other questions? Yes, it's an annual, so it will be updated. Like we said, like Nook Press came out last week. I don't think that's in here because it was already, you know, done. But yeah, it will be updated. Any other questions? No? Okay, right. Go forth and uh, buy the book. Thank you. 
And just one final thing, if you want to know more about our events here in London Book Fair over the next few days, you can take one of these and we pa pass them around. Thank you very much for being here and do hang around for a drink. Author Wright have provided some drinks next door and as Joe said, down to Pembroke for Amazon are providing food and drink for the evening. So it'd be nice to get to know you personally. Thanks so much for being here.